Hello heroes, it's Dr. Zeno with 15 Minute Fuel. We're just in 15 minutes a day. We're going to fuel your mind, your body, and your future. Today was episode two of season two, We Are Heroes show, uh, called The $50 Million Question. That was the title of this episode. When we'll get into that. I'll explain that more. Make sure you check us out on SoundCloud, Stitcher, and um, iTunes because that right there, that will house all of the podcast audio versions of the 15 Minute Fuels, as well as subscribe on YouTube so you have all the latest uh, stuff going on. As you can see in the background, I get the lighting and stuff like that. We're starting to film some videos and we're starting to work on the I Am Hero Project digital course and we're doing other videos as well. You'll see a, you'll actually see a five minute fuel coming out this Saturday. We're going to do that on Saturdays. Just a really cool video, five minutes, boom in and out, but uh, really cool stuff. So you guys uh, look forward to that. We're always giving you some great content. So today let's talk about the $50 million question. See, in life, we wanna make sure that we're not just making a living, we're actually creating our life. There's a difference with that. You know, are you making a living or are you creating your life? And a lot of times when we're just trying to make a living, we miss the opportunity to create our life. And at the end of the day, one's gonna end in regret, and one's gonna end in fulfillment and joy, and you get to choose. But it is easy that you put your head down and two, 10, 20, 30 years goes by, and you see, you see wow, man, I wish, I wish I would've done this or that. So now today we're gonna to talk about, well, how do I know what is that thing I like to do? You know, what is the thing that you're, you're pumped over? What's the thing that, because what starts to happen is, because we're wearing the secret identity, which is, as we were raised, we were told, you know, doctor, lawyer, education, you know, all those things. Basically, a lot of the things that we have done and the ways we have acted in our careers was because of the subordinated values of other people. And they meant well for us. No, these were not bad ideas. None of this was bad. Going to school, getting your doctorate, um, working the family business, being a pastor, like none of that's a bad idea. But what I don't, what we want to address is what you're doing right now was it truly your idea? Or if you really distill the layers down, you would see my mom wanted me to, my dad wanted me to, or my cousins wanted me to, or my peers wanted me to. And you really see, wow, you know, I'm not really doing something that I wanted to do, or I felt led to do, or I was gifted and talented to do, and something was yearning on the inside. I'm doing it because uh, of the social climate. And so when that starts to happen, resentment starts to set in because you're going to always wonder why you have this uneasy feeling, this low-level depression, this, this, there's just something more because you, you, you're living and you were persuaded and inspired by other people's values and opinions. But we never had the chance or you never had the chance to sit down, examine and become self-aware of yourself and say, hey, this is what... I would love to do. This is me. Because the thing is, you know, even though we were born through parents, right? Our parents, you know, birthed us. Uh, we might have certain genetic traits, but what I notice, especially with my kids, you know, kids are born through us. They're not for us. So Justice may have some of my mannerisms, same with Titus, but they're their own individual, unique personalities and human beings. So when you look at our kids, they're, they're not like, oh, this is like part of my brain and part of Whitney's brain. No, they're unique spirits in an earth suit. And the earth suit is what Whitney and I had something to do with. So the earth suit might look like us, but the spirit is absolutely, genuinely, 100% unique and different. And with that spirit comes talent, gifts, understandings, different perceptions of seeing things different attitudes, and because of that, we can't. I can't say, well, I'm a Zeno and Zenos do this. No, 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 passion, not passion, pride and, and, and talent, all these things, that doesn't get passed down genetically. It's inborn with that individual spirit. So that's why the questions you ask was, you know, when I said, what's the $50 million question? And the $50 million question is, if I gave you $50 million, in six months from now, when you spent all, you know, you got a car, you went traveling, all this other stuff, when you came back, six months later, 
and money's never an option for you. It's it's done. You got like you said, let's say you spent two million, so you got forty eight left. What would you do when you got home? What would you do for free? What would you do to serve? And it sounds like this. It starts like start start off by this for the answer. Wouldn't it be cool if or I would come back and I would dot dot dot. What would that be? Would that be would you become a chef? Would you become uh, would you do something service orientated to help more people? Or will you, would you be a philanthropist saying, hey, I got the money. I'm now going to be able to support and do some amazing things for people. But what, what is that thing you would do six months after you got $50 million? You know, what is the thing that when you do it, you have more energy than when you first started? And so that energy is that universal spiritual energy. Because when you're in your lane, it's like you're plugged into an outlet, right? Boom, power comes through. You don't need rest. You just need to do more of what you love and created to do. What is it that you forget to sleep? You forget to eat. You forget to, I mean, you forget time. What is the thing that you just, you're, you're just present in the moment and you love doing it? What is the thing that you would just love to talk about? Or you could talk about with someone till two, three, four in the morning. And as you talk about it, because you're getting more energy, because you're talking about the thing that you love, that's why you can make it at two, three in the morning without coffee. Right? What is the thing that you don't need an alarm clock to wake up the next morning for? What is the thing that you've been saying your whole life, someday, dot, dot, dot? What is that someday thing? That someday when these circumstances are better, a lot of news for you, I realize that circumstances will always be there. The someday in your life is one decision away. And sometimes the how is not necessary to know. Meaning like, well, I would like to do this, then do it. But how am I going to do it? Don't concern yourself with the how. Go after what you want. And when you go after what you want, you might take a couple steps and then you'll see the next logical step and then the next logical step. But you got to move forward on it. Otherwise, you'll live in the area of someday. Someday this, someday that. What is the thing that people come up to you and ask, and, and ask your advice about all the time? And we start to see these things, you're like, wow, this has nothing to do with my profession. This has nothing to do with the job I'm currently in. And you will start to distill and see, wow, this is the stuff that I'm drawn, I'm attracted to for a reason, and this is the things I must pursue in some way, shape, or form. And it will it will monetize because the greatest thing, you ever you ever work with someone who is totally into what they're doing? or into their job, you love it, right? I mean, they're like, wow, that's like the best. You could go to, to, the, to, to the waiter and the waitress level. You ever have a waitress that really loves being there and loves what they're doing, you're always gonna say, why? Wow, that was some great service. You know, that was a, let's give her a big tip. The thing is, whatever you do, whatever profession or mode or thing you start to, that you wanna do and you go into, because you love it and you have energy around it, you get joy from it, you're, 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 uh, you think about it all the time. You become obsessed over it because you, you become what you think about most of the time. Then whatever that is, you're going to be the top in. Guaranteed. Because there's people that are good at their job, right? And there's people that absolutely say, will say, I am born for this. I love this. And that love, and when, when they get to that state of I'm obsessed and I love this, this is all I think about, this is all I want to talk about. Like that's, that's the separating factor. So if you're worried about leaving a certain job or whatever you're doing because you're secure, comfortable and tormented because you're, it has security, understand that if you did what you love to do and what you really like to do, and let's say you discover what you like to do and you think about it all the time, you're obsessed over it because you can't wait to wake up in the morning and do it, don't you think you're going to attract and give amazing value wherever that is? And the how... And the how could be, well, how am I going to afford it? How am I going to make it happen? How am I going to... The how is not necessary. Just what is it and start moving forward and you go for it. So that's the $50 million question I asked you guys. You know, I just had, I got off the phone with a, a mentor of mine and he's 58 years old and he found his thing at 58 years old. And he goes, he said today, and here was the key, he goes, I, he was in Israel at the time. He goes, I'm, I was in, in Israel doing these interviews, showing people around, and I took a moment. He stopped and said, I can't believe this is what I do for a living. Like, it was so cool 
It was so effortless. It was so, he said, frictionless. He couldn't believe in an attitude of, of, of joy and gratefulness. He couldn't believe that, that this is now his J-O-B that someone would call. He's like, I just, this is just like almost laughable that because he loves it and he's so congruent with it that that is now, and that's when you're there. When you're like, I just, I just can't believe this. I'm so euphoric over what I'm doing right now. It took him 58 years. So it's something that it will take time. We're okay with that, but you're not going to get there unless you're moving forward. And when you know the cloud moves and you know it's time for a new season, you need to go and do it. But I think too many of us, myself included, we worry about how, right? The brain takes over. Well, how's that going to happen? Let's, let's, let's crunch the numbers. It can't work. Don't worry about how, because you're not the average person. When it's something that you love and desire, it's not average. It's above average. It's, it's universal, spiritual, whatever you want to call it. But you're not going to have the same circumstance as someone who's doing that just for a job. So hopefully that, uh, that steered you guys in the right direction. Hopefully you really do some self-awareness and ask yourself those questions. Write them down and start soul searching. Start trying different things. For some of you, start going for it. You could start doing it in your part-time. You could do it as a hobby. So let's say I did these videos, right? I work and then I do these videos. So it could be a part-time thing. And may, maybe very soon your part-time love and the part-time thing that you really enjoy doing will be able to over, over supersede and overcome your full-time thing that you're trying to make a living in. So then you can start creating your life. Well, have a great day. Make sure you go to the Facebook fan page and watch episode two of the We Are Heroes show. You can go to YouTube or Instagram, all that stuff there. Watch it, comment on it, share, please, and leave comments. Let me know where you're from. Uh, any questions or comments, please let us know because, again, your comments really serve to wake up others so they can also live heroic lives. So have a great day. Thanks for watching 15 Minute Fuel, which is in 15 minutes a day. Well, for your mind, your body, and your future. God bless. We'll see you soon.